Hello, internet, and welcome to day one. Title screen music for the 30-day video game music challenge. I've got multiple options for this one. I've got the title theme from Super Metroid, which is a classic, but I can't use it because I've used Super Metroid elsewhere in the list. At least I think I did. Did I in the end? Yes, I did. Um, I've got the main theme from the Legacy of Kane 2 Soul Reaver, which remains one of my favorite games, and I really wish they would remake that, but I don't think they will because I think the tech was... Um, I think the tech's quite complicated. I've got the Vanity on March from Final Fantasy XI, but again, I, I can't use that because Final Fantasy XI is elsewhere on the list. So we are left with the main theme, by Kevin Schilder on Black Crypt. And you might be thinking, what the hell is Black Crypt? I've never heard of Black Crypt. Uh, Black Crypt came out in 1992. It was the first game released by Raven Software. They who went on to create a lot of the Star Wars Jedi Academy games. And, and they've gone on to, to, to much greater things. But Black Crypt was their first game. It was, in fact, the game that started me off liking grid-based dungeon crawlers. And it is the game that the name Demogen comes from. The Ring of Demogen was an item in that game which you have to put in an alcove somewhere to open a door so that you can actually progress and complete the game so it could this could have come much later in this list on day 28 yeah you know, music that makes me nostalgic but i just really like this opening theme i think it's a really cool theme it's dark it's mysterious it's it's full of you know it, it's very very retro very very retro indeed it's it's old-fashioned and old school but I really, really like it. So let's take a listen to the Black Crypt theme. It's also not very long. There's not a huge amount of music in Black Crypt. There's this, and I think there might be... There might have been a piece at the end. But Black Crypt was a very weird game. It was very long. It was very detailed. It was very tricky. Uh, incredibly tricky if you didn't have... Uh, if you didn't use the maps in the back of the manuals. But it also had a really weird ending structure where you had a choice at the end of the game. You could either end the game or carry on exploring the crypt. And if you carried on exploring the crypt, you could go and get some super powerful weapons. But then as far as I'm aware, there was no way of actually ending the game. There was nothing, you know, there were a load of kind of super powerful things on the last level after you defeated the last boss. And you could go get them, and I assume then you could go back and explore every single nook and cranny. But there was no way of actually completing the game. There was no way of getting to a game over screen or an ending sequence. If you did that, you were just locked into wandering around the crypt for all eternity, which was a really odd, odd choice. But hey... The, uh, the ending sequence might have had some music, I don't know. But uh, this is the title theme, the, the main theme. Obviously, this is all synthesized. This is not real instruments. Very dark, ominous. very early 90s and then it switches to something less layered but just as ominous really doing a great job of setting a tone no, you're walking into the unknown in this. There's a decent story as well. 
to go with Black Crypt. It's not told in the game, it's told in the manual, as is often the case for, for very early video games. But I quite liked the story. It was one of my first real... Real glimpses into RPGs, Black Crypt. And it led me down a rabbit hole of the Eye of the Beholder games and uh, the games of that ilk. And it just repeats. So yeah, there we go. Day one, title screen music, Black Crypt on the Amiga. 19... 92 makes me feel old that one but i still love that piece of music and it's influential in my life for the setting of the tone for helping me love that game and you know black crypt has a special place in my heart because that's where i nabbed the name demogen from and if you, if you search for the ring of demogen on the internet throw it in google you'll uh You'll, you'll get some references to Black Crypt. You may even be able to find the maps for it just to see just how complex some of the the things were in that game. I tried at one point to see if I could remake Black Crypt in the, the Grimrock editor, but that was really, really difficult because it doesn't have some of the same functions. Anyway, day one done. Hopefully you uh, leave a comment down below with what your favorite title screen music is and i'll catch you back here tomorrow for day two cheerio thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing remember you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live and until next time cheerio